Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Now, I know you heard the terms, buy the dip. Well, today I'm here to tell you to not buy the dip. Traditionally, investors buy the dip when a stock pull back around a percent in a week, and then they go in, they buy some shares, and then historically showing over the next week, at least over the last couple of years, if you bought a stock when it dipped 1% over the next week, it went back up 1.5%, historically speaking. Well, as you could tell, in 2022, that is not how the stock market is working. And I'm here to tell you to not buy the dip. Well, not buy the dip in the traditional speaking way. But today I'm going to show you guys my strategy on how I plan on investing inside of the stock market. So the strategy I'm going to use is that I'm going to continue to save money. I'm going to make as much money that I can right now. And I'm going to hold that inside of my portfolio. Just because you have extra money on hand does not mean that right now is the right time to invest inside the stock market. Right now I'm consuming a lot of cash on hand inside of my portfolio. So when the price is right, that's when I'm planning on to invest. Now, if you need to find some side hustles i'm gonna leave a link right here to this video this video shows you 10 different side hustles that you could use to make extra cash while we could be heading into a recession you can make extra cash that way so i'm going to accumulate as much cash as possible because as warren buffett was saying whoever has as much cash on hand as possible during a recession is king so right now I'm gathering as much cash I'm working and doing as many side hustles as I can right now while the stock market is continuing to pull back. Um, I'm gathering as much cash as I can right now. If you're new to investing, then you have seen that the stock market have reached all time highs over the last year or so. To me personally, that means a lot of these companies was a little bit overpriced and the stock market is now just correcting itself. So if this just the stock market correcting itself, we still have not seen the major impact of the stock market with the rise of of inflation in fact inflation is not slowing down fast enough so i still see a big significant pullback that the stock market has a way to go down especially after i've seen that the research has shown that now that we're entering the winter season consumers are expected to pay 30 percent more on their utility bills especially heating their houses i don't have to worry about that down here in the south but everywhere else their utility bills are expected to pick up 30 percent and new investors are still optimistic on the stock market thinking that it's going to eventually recover soon this year having way too much faith in our economy right now thinking everything is going to be fine and that it's going to bounce back over the next couple of weeks or so so with those three points right there just because the stock dropped one percent does that does not mean that we should go in and buy the dip in fact i think the market has a long way to go back and i'm going to show you guys my strategy in this video where i said three different price points on when i'm planning on throwing in a lump sum of my money dollar cost averaging on the way down these price points i feel comfortable investing into the market could it continue to pull back lower than the price points i'm buying at? Yes, of course, but my risk to reward ratio is going to outweigh buying stocks whenever it drops just 1% when the stock market has a long way to go back, especially when inflation <laughs> shows no sign of slowing down anytime soon. So make sure that you stick out the entire video so you don't miss out on that crucial information. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now I'm going to be following the ticker symbol SPY. It tracks the S&P 500, the top 500 companies in America. Now I have three different price points that I'm going to throw in a large lump sum of my money into every time that it pulls back so if the spy pulls back one percent i'm not just going to throw in a large lump sum expecting it to raise over the next couple of weeks or so no i'm waiting for spy to pull back to these three different price points so when they do hit i'm going to throw in a third of my cash and buy it at a fair value so that my risk to reward ratio makes sense to me and i'm not overpaying for stock so i'm going to pull up some charts later and i'm going to show you guys exactly my price points and how i'm planning on investing into the stock market but if you guys want to pick up some free stocks this video is brought to you by webull sign up now by clicking the link down in the description deposit any amount of money that's right just one penny if you want to and you can receive up to 13 free stocks with those free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you can sell those free stocks and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on that opportunity I also left a link in the description to Moomoo. Sign up, deposit $100, and you could get and you could get 15 free stocks once again. You could keep them inside the platform, or you can sell it. It's free money, guys. Do not miss out on that opportunity. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. Here we are on the ticker symbol SPY. Now, let's go ahead and zoom out to the four-hour time chart so we, we could get a better look at this. Now, here are two levels that I have drawn out. As you guys can see, 
As you guys can see, SPY had an all-time high over the last year, all the way up to $480, and it had a pretty big pullback from $480 all the way down to $348, which is a drop of around 27%. I wasn't buying into the market every time it dropped 1%. It already dropped 24%. Well, I had said three different price points that are comfortable buying SPY at because we drew out this downtrend line. It bounced once, got rejected, bounced, got rejected, bounced, got rejected, and it's continuing to pull back. Now, SPY did enter one of my zones right here. I did pick up a couple of shares of my favorite companies. It could bounce all the way back up to this other resistance zone. It could bounce all the way back up to this other resistance downtrend line. And I expect it to continue to pull back. And then every time it enter one of my zones, I go in and pick up some shares of my favorite companies. Now let's zoom out so I can show you guys exactly my resistance and support lines. So here we are on SPY. Here go my third um, buy zone right here. So I did pick up a couple of shares right here of SPY. It did have an uptrend. You can sell a couple of these once they did uh, have an uptrend. It pulled back and then SPY did tap into this zone right here. So I did pick up a couple of shares and it's looking like it might try to bounce, but I do expect it to continue to pull back all the way around to the pandemic era prices. Now, now I drew out this zone right here because it, it traded sideways right here. I really like this zone. It had a double top, got rejected, got rejected, and then finally broke through. So this is a, a support line that I drew out at the 354 to the $350 price point. I plan on buying more shares inside of this price range. And I also draw out this double bottom right here. It kind of traded. In fact, let's zoom in. All right, so here we are. It, it had a double top right here. That was one of the resistance zones I drew. And right here had a double bottom. One, two, three, a double bottom. So this is another price point that I'm planning on buying into the stock market is when SPY pulls back to 322 to around 318. So ever since I've been collecting cash around this area, I bought once right here. I'm gonna wait until SPY pulls all the way back to 321. I'm gonna buy some more right there. And another zone, if it does, if we do enter a recession, I like to buy inside of this zone. I would like to buy inside of this zone around here, right when it had crossed the first time right when the EMA had crossed the first time on the uptrend right after the pandemic. So a price point around 300, anything under 300, I'm gonna throw in the last bit of my lump sum of cash that I've been saving up. So anything under 350, you could throw in a large lump sum. Anything under 320, you could throw in a large lump sum. And if we pull all the way back to anything under 300, I'm gonna throw in the last third of my large lump sum of cash that I've been saving up. So yeah, guys, that is my strategy. Um, could the market continue to take off in the other directions and I never do invest that large lump sum underneath the $300 price point? Yes, it could. But if I'm not comfortable buying certain shares, certain companies at a certain price point, and it, and it doesn't meet my risk to reward ratio that I like to invest into, then I'm just gonna miss out on a couple of stocks. But I do plan on dollar cost averaging in that way and large lump sums, not every time the market pull back 1%. As I expect the market to continue to pull back due to inflation, the season we're entering, and a couple of these earning reports not looking how I want them to look. But if you want to know exactly when I'm investing inside the stock market, I'm going to leave a link down in the comment section, pinned in the comment section, that'll take you to my Patreon, the Patreon to take you to my Discord. Inside the Discord, I post every single time I buy and sell a stock. I post my option trades, my day trades, my technical analysis, just like the ones in this video. And we also have pro day traders in there that post their day trades every single day. So if you want to be a part of a community of traders that want to be financially free, just like you, go ahead and check out the link down in the pinned comment section. But yeah, guys, other than that, let me know your strategy that you're going to use down in the comment section. Let me know if you think the stock market is going to recover in 2023 let me know if it's going to continue to pull back in 2023 let me know what other stocks that you've been investing into over the last year that you see on sale right now that should be picking up at a great value let me know all of that down in the comment section but if you stay tuned in this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe that really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine but other than that i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace